Baylor, by the way, lost a shootout at West Virginia, 70 to 63. All right, looking for something outdoors to do next weekend. There is a 5K run that puts you at one with nature. It's called the Naked Foot 5K Run, and it will be in Austin next Saturday. Joining me today is race director Josue Stevens, along with Megan, one of the runners, to talk about the Naked Foot 5K. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, thank you for having And us. as we see, shoes are optional. That's right. We've got a couple different kinds of shoes you can wear, more minimalist style footwear. So if you need something with a little more padding, um, zero drop. If you want to go completely indigenous, you can wear the sandals or just take your shoes off and run. It's all about having fun. Now, um, that's kind of, you're encouraging um, kind of that barefoot feel with the zero drop shoe. Kind of talk about that and maybe why it's good. Yeah, exactly. So when you're learning to run, um, you, when you reduce your shoes, the more natural running strike is to land on your midfoot. Mm -hmm. If you have a heel lift on your shoe, it'll actually encourage you hitting your heel, and that's a lot of impact on your knees and hips and can cause a lot of injury. Mm -hmm. So if you're reducing your shoes and even running completely barefoot on grass, and mm -hmm. you can learn to run with that midfoot strike, mm -hmm. you're going to reduce a lot of injury. So that's what it really it's all about having a lot more fun running, learning to enjoy running and reducing your injury. We've seen a lot more so. of these zero drop shoes coming to market. Megan, maybe what have you seen training in those types of shoes compared to the old style running shoe? Well, there's just a lot less impact on your knees whenever you're training with them. So there's a lot less um, injury and it's just an injury prevention kind of thing. And it's a lot more comfortable to run in the shoes like this. So, and he obviously knows a lot more about that with his barefoot shoes. So. <laughs> oh, so well, you've actually run this 5k event barefoot what, what's it like to run barefoot I have well it's a lot of fun I've actually run 50 kilometer race completely wow. barefoot before um, on trail it's uh, it's a different experience you meet, you have to be a little more careful for things on the ground but as you get I used imagine. to it you get a little bit better it's just a lot of fun it's a really free feeling you feel like a kid again and then how many days so. does it take to recover uh, your, your feet after, um, after I usually a run tell, like that. Well, with a 5K, you know, I tell people just take it easy, go out there and have some fun. Don't, mm -hmm. don't you know, don't race this thing or try to run your fastest PR. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I would say just take a couple days to recover. And if you want to train that way, you know, contact someone like uh, Run ATX about some coaching. Mm -hmm. Let's about. talk a little bit about the Naked Foot 5K race. I know there's a, a lot of other activities that are going to be out there as well. Yeah, we're going to have a stand-up paddleboard race um, with, with SUP ATX. That's going to mm -hmm. be a whole lot of fun. And that's mm -hmm. a, definitely a bear friendly event you just jump on your board barefoot mm -hmm. we're gonna have an obstacle course out there for people to run around and play on with Texas parkour nice and uh, we're gonna have kind of a family friendly fun festival lots of kids things uh, we'll have a capoeira um, uh, demonstration as well and just a lot of people out there having a lot of fun and the course so. is, a, is a big secret it's a big mystery right you don't unveil that until the day right. of the race? We, no, it's going to be unveiled the day of the race. And can you give us an idea of maybe the terrain it will cover? or It's, it's going to be grassy, barefoot-friendly terrain because we want people to take their shoes off and if they're unsure um, of if they like this sort of thing or not, it's gonna, we're going to take it easy on them. Okay, lastly, tell people where to register. This is next Saturday morning? Is it is. It's Saturday morning, October 6th, and it's uh, thenakedfoot5k.com. You can register. And uh, bring, bring some old shoes and to donate for Souls for Souls. Right. They'll be donated to Africa and other other countries like that. Wonderful. Thanks guys. Thanks so much for Thank being with you. us. Yeah, thank you so much. All right.